Kahalayim Yahawa Bashem Yahawasha Bashem Raka Kadash Baraka the Yahawa Baraka the Yahawasha 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 Kahalayim Yahawa Bashem Yahawasha Bashem Raka Kadash Double honor to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone rule well. Peace and salutations to the house of David, the lit man, pushing his truth and faith and sincerity. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Raka, Kodash, Barakatam. So you sincere listeners who may hear this. All right. And I just wanted to go into this, you know, because uh, a lot of uh, Jakes, you know, uh, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians are especially uh, the Southern Kingdom, so called Negroes. All right. They, they discredit the. Uh, validity the 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 uh the 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 validity of this if i'm saying that right uh, um the 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 purity within these scriptures like they they, they question if, if these scriptures are uh are real or not you know if you know a lot of uh jakes will say oh that bible you can't believe everything that's in that bible that that bible was made up you know that bible is not the truth you know the you have to follow you have to follow yourself and follow your own spirit you can't believe you can't you can't follow those words in the book but see that's why jake don't have no foundation man all right because you you following your own self that's that's not gonna that's not gonna lead you nowhere man I tell you about that in proverbs the, the the third chapter you know proverbs the fourth chapter with all that that get and get understanding okay so you you can get all the wisdom of this world and put it together, okay? You can uh, come up with some kind of great device in your mind to to make you think that your um, your way of thinking is going to lead you unto uh, salvation and lead you to the path of righteousness. All right, but it's not going to do that. All right, that's why the heavenly Father gave you these scriptures, man. All right, these are the words. This is comes from the divine power, the Almighty, the Alpha Omega. The one God who exists, which his name means he is, he exists, is which is Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew, man. All right, it's, it's not really that even that hard to understand. But but as his ways are plain unto the holy, so are their stumbling blocks unto the wicked. All right, and in these scriptures, is is nothing but stumbling blocks all throughout it, man. All right, and that's why uh, Jake don't want to don't, don't want to hearken unto it. You know, he 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 he, he uh, don't believe. The uh the words of the heavenly Father, all right. He 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 he's against the uh words of the heavenly Father. Ultimately, because he's against Yahweh Bashim Al Shad. You know these people are anti Mashiachs, anti anti Christ, are anti Messiahs. Which is because because if if you don't believe in the word, then you don't believe in our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which his name means he delivers. He is the deliverer. Okay, Yahweh Shah. All right, he is the word. All right. So you can't believe, you you can't be all over the place, man. All right, you you gotta this 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 foundation of these scriptures standing for sure, okay. But without further ado, I'm just gonna get into the scriptures and you know uh, clarify on this point I'm making. All right, this Psalms chapter twelve verse six, the words of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the words, okay, are pure words. So these are pure words. Let's go into the word pure. Are right, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai pure, man? Are these 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 words are not unclean. These words are not defiled. These are not just words that's just made up by man. All right, the the heart of a man is desperately wicked. Strong's H twenty eight eighty nine. Tahor. Tahor. Yeah, and, that, and we know that in Hebrew it's tahor. Okay, it says pure, clean, pure, clean, morally and ethically. That's right. All right, pure in the physical. Ceremony, ceremonial or moral sense. Yeah, so this word is clean. It's pure, okay? This word is not unclean, all right? You can't, you. so you pretty much saying that the Heavenly Father is unclean, all right? That's blasphemy, man, all right? The words of the Heavenly Father are pure, pure words. These words are clean words, all right? Every word that come out man's mouth is, 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 is wicked words. Those are unclean words, all right? Why? Because... Uh, this flesh and these these fleshly minds are unclean, man. And this place that we are in in this world is completely unclean, man. All right, Michael two and ten. All right, the words of the Lord Yahweh Shimon Shah, pure word, pure words, as silver tried 
in a furnace of earth purified seven times. And we know seven goes into a complete number, man. Uh, so this this word is as is, is pure as it gets, man. It don't get no more pure than this. All right. I don't give a damn who 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 you bring up, man. They 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 words not pure than these scriptures, man. All right. That's why uh any uh anyone who try to rise up against uh Yahweh Shemal Shine his word, all right, they confound it every time because uh the words of the Lord are sharpening any two edged sword, man. All right. Mo most people just scared of these words, man. Because right, they know these words gonna condemn them, man. All right, and it's gonna bring all their uh, wicked, evil deeds to the light. All right, so they try to discredit it. All right, just so they can uh, feel more uh, justification for the wickedness that they do. All right, this is verse seven. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord Yahweh by Shad. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Right. So these this word has been preserved for thousands of years, man. All right, this. This word has never been changed. It, yeah, it's, it's certain words and certain things they did to alter in these scriptures, you know. But uh, the you you can't uh, you can't deceive the elect, man. All right, so if you was chosen by your by Shemal Shai to to receive this word and understand this word, is is nothing that you can do to to uh, to alter. Um, the words of Yahweh by Shimei All right, and this word ultimately, all all it has you have to understand that the word has been changed from the Hebrew, the Greek to the English, man. All right, so you know within that, that's 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 that's, that's a, a huge stumbling block in itself, man. All right, but you just gotta understand this word has been preserved, man. All right, this word has been kept for generations. All right. It, let, let's read this one more time. This Psalm chapter 12, verse 7. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahshua. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Right? Forever, man. All right, so this word was preserved forever. And, and, and that's the spirit, too, because uh, the Heavenly Father, during the New Covenant, and when, when, we receive, when, when we receive those uh, fleshly hearts, the Heavenly Father is going to uh, put the word into our inward parts, man. All right, so this word is how we're going to be made perfect. All right, so the words of the heavenly Father is perfect, man. Right. You can't discredit the scriptures, man. If you if you discredit the, the scriptures, you discrediting your how your how about shot, man. Or right. you can't say you believe in a higher power, or you believe in in the Messiah, or you believe uh, in uh, it being the Creator, but you don't believe in His words, man. All right, because you so you you believe in in the heavenly Father, and you believe. In, in, in his only begotten son, but you don't believe in the words that he left for us to, to seek him through. Okay, that don't make no sense, man. All right. It's Titus chapter 1, verse 15. Until the pure, all things are pure. So if you, how, how are you pure? You're pure through the words. All right. You're pure through the word. That's what makes you pure. That's what makes you clean. All right. Because you yourself is filthy. Your mind, yourself, and what your thoughts are, your fleshly thoughts, your fleshly mind. Your wicked imagination, that's that's evil and unclean, man. All right, but uh, uh, you you're pure through the word. That's how you are clean. That's how you made clean. So, you being in the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem that makes you pure. It makes you clean. Okay, but once you step outside of the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem that's your that, that's unclean. Okay, it says unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving. It's nothing pure yet. So if you don't believe in the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, nothing's pure. That's why you discredit the, the scriptures. All right. That's why you dis discredit the, uh, the the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahshai because it's you're you're unclean and you're you're impure. Because why? Because you're not hearkening unto the words, which makes you clean. All right. So that makes you defiled and and you don't believe in the words. So that so that makes you unclean. All right. You you're not pure. Why? Because you're not uh, purifying yourself through um, through the word. All right, that's that's how you purify yourself. Okay, but even their mind and conscience is defiled, right? So your 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 mind and conscience is defiled, man. All right, your your mind, what you think, your thoughts. Okay, how you believe that that's defiled, that's unclean. All right, but these scriptures are pure in in. Uh, it undefiled, man. 
Okay? You can't come up against this word, man. All right? You being a Satanist. All right? Well, let me just read this one last verse. So like this uh, verse 16, they profess that, profess that they know Yahweh, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate, right? Being abominable and disobedient. How, how are you being abom abominable and disobedient? Because you're not hearkening unto the words. You can't be disobedient unless you're not listening to something. What are you supposed to be listening to? The words that are written in this book, man. All right? Into and, and every uh, good work. Uh, reprobate and what's a reprobate being void of judgment how do you uh, learn judgment by hearkening into the words of the book man all right what book these scriptures all right let's get this proverb 30 verse 12 this proverb chapter 30 verse 12 there's a generation that are pure in their own eyes Woo. So it's a generation that's pure in their own eyes, man. All right, in, 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 in their own uh, sight, in, in their own mind, they believe, oh, I'm, I'm clean. You know, I'm right. I, I, I know what my spirit telling me is right. I know what my mind tells me is right. You know, I don't got to uh, lean. I don't got to look to no book to, to, to have understanding. I got understanding. All right, you that's, that's, that's saying that you are pure in your own eyes. That's being pure in your own eyes. All right. Yet is not washed from their filthiness. Yet filthiness, yeah. So how are you washed from your filthiness, man? All right. Sanct sanctify them through my truth. All right. Let me see if I can pull that. Which sanctify means per clean, you know, uh, make to make clean. All right. How you made clean? Let's see. I think it's in John. It's like you. Yeah, kind. It's John chapter 17, verse 17. Sanctify them truth. So like it sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So the word is true. Alright. And and that's and, and that's that's how you clean. Alright. That's how you made that's how you purify. Alright. By by uh th through the word. Alright. And the word is the truth. Okay. The word is the truth. So that's how you made clean through the word. Which the word is our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who is the physician, who is gonna clean you up from your sickness and, 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 and your uncleanness. All right. This Proverbs chapter thirty verse twelve. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, yet and yet is not washed from their filthiness. Right? How are you washed from your filthiness through the word? All right. It says there is a generation. Oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. Yeah, and, and, and that's uh that's uh Jake, man. Alright, that's Jake. He 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 he's uh lofty as hell, man. Are right, he prideful as hell? That's this it's prideful as hell to believe that you your 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 words and, and your thoughts are, are higher than the thoughts that you have by seeing your side. That, that just your words are more pure than the words that the Heavenly Father has preserved for you from generations, man. All right. For generations. This word been preserved for generations. Your word not even getting you. You can say one thing and then tomorrow you, you say something different. All right. But this word been preserved for generations, man. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Where for the... Let me see. Uh, oh, well, let me see. Yeah, let me start it. Uh, I'm going to start it. I'm going to just start at 10. All right, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 10. For the Lord, Yahweh, have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers, have you covered? Yeah, and that's that's Jake. All right, you you got the spirit of deep sleep on you, man. All right, because you got your uh, eyes lifted up, uh, your your eyes uh lofty and lifted up uh, against your whole Bashi Shad. Because ultimately, in the reincarnation, you you came up against this word and came up against your Bashi Shad. You're anti Mashiach, so the Heavenly Father put this curse of, of deep sleep upon you to where you you come up against these scriptures, all right? Which is the only foundation that you can seek the heavenly Father to and uh, be made clean, all right? 
Verse 11, and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Right, because you can't, when, when something is sealed, you, you can't open it up unless you got the key. All right, and, and what's the key? The, the, the key is uh, the understanding, all right, the, the, the gift of faith, the gift of uh, understanding, you know, the, the, the gift of uh, wisdom, all right, which wisdom comes from the scriptures, but the Heavenly Father said that wisdom shall not dwell in a malicious soul. So this book is sealed unto you. You can't uh, attain the wisdom because uh, this, 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 this book is sealed. All right, it says, which man delivered to one that is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, for it is sealed. Yeah, because you can't, you can't understand. You can read the Bible up and down, but if you don't have no understanding, it, it don't matter. All right, because the, the, the book is, is not uh, open unto everyone. This book is sealed to most. That's why they discredit it, because they can't open the seal that's on the book. All right. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Yeah, so you can't read the book unless you learn, man. All right, and if, but if you're not trying to learn, then what, 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 what the hell is the point? All right, you, you got to be trying to learn these words, man. All right, if, if, if you're just going to automatically say, oh, that's a man's book, you, you ain't even trying to learn it. You ain't even trying to learn the words of the book. All right, you are automatically just shooting the book down. All right, then you could be like, well, you got a lot of jakes too. I read that Bible uh, front and back, you know. I, I I know about that Bible, this and that. You know, I came up in the church, this and that. You know, I've been studying that. I, I, I was into the Israelite thing. I was a Christian before, you know. All this shit Jake be talking, but you, the book was sealed. It, it don't matter if it's sealed, you never really read it. <laughs> Are you, 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 you ain't. If you, it don't matter if you go, okay, if you go to a house in the, in the door lock, if you go to a house in the door lock, you ain't never been to the house, man. You was just, you went to the driveway, nigga. You, you wasn't, and you didn't go in the house, all right? It says, well, for the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of man. And there it go. All right. They, with, with their lips, they draw near the Lord. You know, oh, uh, uh, I, I, I believe that there's a higher power. I believe that we're gods within ourselves. I believe that there is a creator. I believe this and that, you know. But your, your fear towards uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, your, your fear towards God, okay, is is taught by the precept of man. That's not. It wasn't taught through these words. These words is how you uh, how, how you fear the Lord. How you uh, believe in the Lord. You can't. You're not believing in the Most High, His but only begotten Son. If it's not through these words, man. All right. If if you take hearing words of somebody else or uh, seeking out your own research, you know, if, if it's not coming from the man that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah has set up, all right, then it's it's not it's not you you ain't learned nothing man you learn from the precept of men all right if you're not learning in, in faithfulness and sincerity you 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 learn from the precept of men all right let's get this this uh Daniel chapter twelve verse eight and I heard but I understood not then said I O oh my Lord what shall be the end of these things. And he said, go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Right, so this this is the uh, time of the end right here. All right, so the seal that Yahweh Bashim Yahshah has put on his book, all right, the, 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 uh, the, the seers and the prophets whose eyes and, and mouth was closed and covered, okay, he has opened their mouth and their eyes up, all right, to, to proclaim his words unto the unlearned, all right, because you don't you you don't know these words, man, all right. So you gotta have how how should you learn unless you have a teacher, right? So you gotta have a teacher to teach you this word, okay? So the teachers are out here teaching the word, but if you don't believe the word, then what, how the hell are you gonna be taught, all right? It says many shall be purified and made white and tried, right? And how how are you gonna be tried? How, how are you gonna be tried through 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 the word, man, all right? Because you got to lean upon his word through whatever you're going through. You got to uh, revert back to this word to get you through whatever tribulations you're going through. 
All right, and, and through that you are being uh being, being tried. All right, because this word has already been tried, like like silver refined in the furnace seven times. Okay, so this word is is pure as it can be, but through this word is how you are made purified. All right, it says, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So if you wicked, you can't understand the words of the book. So you 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 discredit. You discredit the Bible and the scriptures because you wicked. That's that's simple and plain. That's why your ass don't uh understand the words of this book. That's why this book is just a book to you. Okay? This this book is life. The words that I speak are to you are spirit and they are life. All right, and what words was Yahweh Bashim Yahushai speaking to, uh our Lord Salaki, our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking that to us? Okay? He was speaking the words uh, uh the, the scriptures, okay? The this this the, the Heavenly Father was I, I, I like it. Our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, he was speaking the words of this book, man. All right, Yahweh sent his only begotten son to, to proclaim the words of this book, man. All right. That's that's the that's the power of the Heavenly Father, man. He put all his sayings in, in, in this book, man. All right. Why why did he do that for you? Okay. It's uh Revelation chapter 22, verse 7. Cause cause the most high, he not gonna come talk to your ass, man. He's not gonna come give you every damn breakdown, man. Or who the hell you think you are? Okay. It's Revelation chapter 22 verse 7. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of the book. Right. Who Who, who is that that come quickly? Our Lord, Yahweh uh, Mashiach. All right. He He, he came first uh, over 2,000 years ago as a, a sac sacrificial lamb. Okay. He came as that sacrificial lamb. But now he he, he going to come back. He gonna come back uh slaughtering people. All right, so ain't gonna be no more of that um uh, it ain't, ain't gonna be no more of that uh talking no more. Okay, he ain't gonna be trying to he ain't gonna be giving you breakdowns no more and teaching no more, all right, giving you uh sound doctrine, okay? That that time is up, all right. The our Lord Yahweh Mashiach is represented through the body of the house of David, the hope for a lit. All right, that's 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 Yahweh Shah, all right. That's 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 Yahweh Shah. Through the spirit right here, okay. So once uh once uh prophecy fulfilled, Yahweh Shai gonna make his second coming, he's gonna put you to death, or right, if you're not keeping the sayings of this book. Let's read that one more time. Behold, I come quickly, blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Alright, so you gotta keep the sayings of the prophecy of this book. That's how you're gonna be blessed. You know, everybody say I'm blessed, uh uh I'm highly favored, all that bullshit, man. All right, if you're not keeping the sign, uh, sayings of this book, your ass not blessed. All right. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren, the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship Yahweh. So the angel... The, the angel told the apostle John, John the Revelator, okay, he told him that he he's a brother to those who keep the sayings of this book. All right, so if you calling yourself an angel and and you a god, okay, you 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 know, cause the, Jake love to say that shit. We are gods, and I have God within me, and I, I I'm a creator of myself, and all this nonsense Jake be saying. Okay, so uh, God God means angel. So if you if you if you an angel. Okay, if you an uh, angel, the, the the angel right here that was speaking in the scripture said he is a brother unto those who uh keep keep the sayings of this book. All right, so if your ass not keeping the sayings of this book, you're not an angel. You're not a damn god. All right. Verse ten, and he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. So the sayings uh that's in this book. Are not sealed no more. Why? Because the time of of, of, of the sayings and the prophecy of this book is is that that time now is to is 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 being fulfilled. All right. So now is the time for you to uh take heed unto the uh, sayings of this book, man. All right. Let's get this. It's Luke chapter one verse seventy. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. All right, well, let, let's start at let's start at sixty-eight. So, like you, 
This is Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, the God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. All right, how? How has Yahweh uh, visited and redeemed his people, man? All right, through this word, all right? It tell you about that in Malachi 4 and 6. I shall, I shall send you uh, Elijah the prophet before the great and dreadful day of the Lord, all right? Which uh, Elijah the prophet was Alpha Bivens in the reincarnation who came back and, and delivered this uh, word in 1969. 1970, all right. He came back and, and and brought this word to to the forefront, all right. And have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, right? The, what I was talking about, the, the house of David, man, all right. The elect, the the, the remnant, all right. Those who are keeping the sands of this book and pushing the sands of this book, okay. It says, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Which have been since the world began. So, so the Heavenly Father always had prophets to proclaim his words. Proclaim the words of the scriptures, man. Alright. It's not, it, it, this, this is nothing new. Alright. So you can't, you come up against somebody and be like, oh, you can't believe everything in that book, man. You, 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 you spewing out of a book. The, the Heavenly Father always had prophets to talk out of the book. So you think the, the, it's nothing new under the sun, man. All right, it says this, the, the Heavenly Father always been doing this, man. All right, He always been setting up man to speak his words that, that he has uh, written in his book. The, the prophets was prophesizing the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, and this is the, this book. All right, and, and nothing has changed. That's why you see all the uh, um, all the prophets who, who spoke throughout the scriptures, they was all in unison. They, they was all speaking the words of other prophets, you know, they was they was all saying uh, the same words in, in, in different interpretations, pretty much, man. All right, not not in different ter interpretations like that, but in different ways. All right, it was but all of one interpretation. Okay, this uh Ezra, I mean, so like Ezra, chapter four, verse fifteen, that search may be made in the book of records of thy fathers. All right, talking about the, the prophets. All right. So shall thou find in the book of the records and know that this city is a rebellious city. What city? city? The city of Jerusalem, which was a people before it was a place. All right, talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. And hurtful unto kings and provinces, and that they have moved sedition with the same of old time, for which cause was this city destroyed. So this is why Yahweh Bashim al destroyed uh, you 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 niggas anyway. That's why he uh uh sent uh the, the so called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, uh the Greeks, the Romans, all right, to, to destroy the city of Jerusalem and take um your uh your 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 uh the the, the city of peace away, man. Alright, this is why you hit your how about she uh put us in the position that we in right now for not hearkening unto the words of the book, not hearkening unto the words of Yahweh by Shemuel Alright. This uh Jeremiah chapter 36, verse 2. Take thee a roll of a book. Take thee a roll of the book of a book. What book, man? What is this talking about? And write therein all the words that have spoken unto thee against Israel. So all the words that are spoken in this book are unto you. Uh, uh, unto thee against Israel, all right, uh, Mr. Lucky. This, this, these, these are against Israel. Israel, who all those of Israel who are not of Israel, those who don't hearken unto this word. The Heavenly Father spoke. Uh, the the lamentation, the lamentation, mourning and woe, is in this book. All right, for for those who don't want to hearken unto it. All right, because if you don't hearken unto if if you if you disobedient to the heavenly father and his words, he gonna send consequences on you for that. All right. It says and against Judah and against all the nations from the day I spake unto thee from the days of Josiah uh, even unto this day. So even unto this day, even unto this day right here, these words have not changed, man. All right. Let's read that one more time. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 36, verse 2. Take thee a roll of a book and write therein all the words that I have spoken unto thee against Israel and against Judah and against all the nations 
from the day I spake unto thee from the days of Josiah even unto this day. So the Heavenly Father uh, always been speaking words through the prophets, to the prophets, even unto this day. All right. It says, it may be that the house of Judah will hear all the evil which I purpose to do unto them. Right. The house of Judah, you so-called Negroes, man. All right. Because like I said, y'all the worst. Y'all y'all come up against these scriptures the worst. All right. Ultimately, y'all niggas was the ones who put our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, up on the Christ cross, which, which is spiritual because our Lord is, is the word. Like I said, that they may return every man from his evil way that I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. So this is how you're going to be forgiven of your iniquity and your sins th through the word. All right. By hearkening unto the words. If not, you're going to be put to death. Okay. It's simple and plain. It's simple and plain. You you either hearken unto the words of this book, observe to do the laws, statutes, and commandments of this book, or the Lord gonna kill you, man. All right. So if you if you if you don't believe the words of this book, well, you just gonna die. All right. This Second Kings chapter twenty two verse thirteen. Go ye inquire of the Lord Yahweh for me and for the people and for all Judah concerning the words of this book that is found. For great is the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh that is kindled against us. Because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book. Let's read that one more time. All right. For 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 uh those who just can't seem to understand. Let's let's see if if if, if I read it one more time, you can just understand it. All right, this is Second Kings chapter twenty two, verse thirteen. Go ye inquire of the Lord, Yahweh Shah for me and for the people. And for all Judah concerning the words of this book, all right, that is found. For great is the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh, that is kindled against us because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book. And you are your forefathers. That's why you in the position that you're in right now. And you coming back fulfilling your lot again, all right? Disowning, not, not, uh, not, not hearkening unto the words of this book, man. All right, not taking heed to the words of this book, disregarding the scriptures, okay? Disregarding your by Shem Yashan, his word, all right? That's why the Heavenly Father has a wrath kindled against you. That's why you, you niggas are at the bottom of the toilet pole, all right? That's why you go through hell. That's why you in the situations you in right now. Why? Because you didn't hearken unto the words of this book, all right? To do according unto all that which is written, Concerning us, so this the, the the words in this book is concerning you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, man. All right, this ain't concerning nobody else. This word was written for written for you, so you could uh, so so you could receive uh, re receive uh, good good tidings from the Lord, man. All right, so you could receive good things from the Lord, man. All right, so so the Lord could be pleased with you. All right, so you could please the Lord. All right. You you do that by by taking heed to the words in the book. If you don't do that, you're not pleasing the Lord, okay. And if you don't please the Lord, He gonna get rid of your ass, man. All right. It's just like if you got a, a woman and she ain't satisfying you, man. All right, she ain't doing what she's supposed to be doing. She ain't doing her duties as a woman. All right, you 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 go you gonna uh cancel her, man. You gonna cancel that bitch like Nino. All right, and that's what the Heavenly Father finna do. He finna cancel. Uh, a lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, man. All right? Because y'all don't hearken unto the words of this book. All right? This is Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. So the, the Hold on, man. This this book of thy law shall not depart out of thy mouth, man. What the hell you mean, man? Are you, you you not supposed to let this word depart out of your mouth, man? Or this book depart out of your mouth? Once you disclaim this book, once you disclaim the words of this book, you disclaim it, oh, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shem, man. Are you, 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 you disowning your power, your creator, man. All right. You stepping into, you, you going in left field, man, when you do that. All right. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. So you're supposed to be meditating these scriptures day and night, every single day, man. All right. Every single day, every single night, this word should be on your mind, man. All right. Even when you not necessarily doing things that, uh, uh, pertain to reading the scriptures or watching videos or you know a uh, service in the Lord you know and you you still supposed to have these scriptures in the back of your mind you still supposed to have these words in in the back of your mind all right that's that's how you uh that's how you filter if what you're doing is right or, or what's wrong 
All right? That's how you filter your thoughts. Because cause your thoughts, when they come to your mind, that's not even your thoughts, man. Are right? you not thinking what you're thinking? All right? That's, you you got to decipher, is that, is, is, that, is that a demon putting thoughts into my mind? All right? And how do you de decipher that? You decipher that through the word because the word is clean. All right? Everything outside of this word is uh, is undefiled and, 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 un, and unpure. Impure. All right, so your thoughts are really impure. All right, but you you filter your thoughts through the through the word. Okay. It says that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. So you're supposed to be observing to do all that is written therein. Let's go into this word observe. All right. All that is written therein. You can't pick and choose nothing out the scriptures that you agree with and, and say that's right, but you can't. Uh, but you don't uh but but you don't uh choose and, and pick this that was written in the book. Well, I agree with this part, but I don't agree with this part. No, it said observe to do all that is written there, written therein. All right. Strong's H eighty one oh four. Shamer. Shamer. Here we go. It say to keep uh a, it says to keep within bounds to restrain. So you're supposed to keep this bounded up, man. Are you supposed to keep this? You, you, you're supposed to keep a, 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 a sureful watch over this, man. Right, it say let not the parables of understanding escape you, man. Are right, you supposed to keep this this word in, in you, man? That's why you're supposed to meditate it in it, day, meditate in it day and night. All right, because if this word escape you, then you through. All right, this word is your only hope, man. All right, it say. To keep retain treasure up in memory. Yeah, this this word is supposed to be your treasure, man. All right, it say to be on one's guard. You supposed to be on guard with this word, man. You supposed to be guarding this word up. You don't supposed to let no no one take this word away from you. How how does the word taken away from you by the the precept of men? All right, the thoughts of men. All right, the the mortal thoughts. All right, the the evil imagination. Anything that's outside of these scriptures, all right. That's that's how you 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 are not taking guard unto the word, all right. You not you not guarding the word, all right. You you let uh, outside entities uh over overtake the the word, all right. Why? Because you're not observing it, but you observing other bullshit. That's why you're supposed to constantly be observing and meditating in the scriptures. You you don't supposed to be uh meditating and observing other bullshit. All right, this 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 word is it, okay? It says, "For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good good success." So this is how you gonna prosper, man. All right, this is how you gonna have good success. All right, this this is how no evil shall touch you. This is how you are, are not gonna be going through. Uh, this this how you keep yourself out of bullshit, man. Pretty much. All right, it's by hearkening unto this word. All right, you. You're not hearkening unto this word. You, 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 you in some bullshit, man. All right. You, you, pretty much. If you, if you're not hearkening to this word, you are headed unto death. Okay. <laughs> you headed unto destruction, man. All right. This word is the only way. This the only thing that can save you from destruction, man. All right. It's Isaiah chapter thirty-four, verse sixteen. And the spirit been having me bring this out a lot lately. This is Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiel Shah, and read. So you got to seek out of the book of the Heavenly Father, man. That's what you got to seek out of. You can't be seeking nothing else. You can't be seeking going on YouTube, watching everybody and, and, and their mama, you know what I'm saying, going to different shit, man. You 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 reading everybody book, all right? You you went to you dibbling and dabbling with Egyptology, Judaism, Muslim, uh, uh, um, all multiple Hebrew Israelite camps. You, uh, you you went to the uh, black militant shit. You know, you went you went to all different type of, 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 of books and, and 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 words, man. Are you seeking everything? All right. But it says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord. You have by Shemal Shah and read, man. They go back to Joshua 1 and 8, man. All right. Meditate uh, there in the word day and night, man. You're supposed to just stay in the scriptures, man. I tell you that in Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, be not weary with many books, man. All right. You ain't got to read uh, this. Really, man, you know, it's, it's, it's some 
some books out there that you can go into for edification, say they got good edification in it. But really, ultimately, you know, this this the only book you really even need, man. All right, yeah, you can go into secular history. You know, you can go into uh, different things, but nothing uh, trumps the scriptures, man. All right, these precepts are everything, man. All right, that's that's you can match secular history up with, with the scriptures. You know, you can find out uh, different uh, places that was in the scriptures. You know, uh, match up things that's going on in the world with the scriptures. But ultimately, your the scriptures is the is 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 the, is the uh is the foundation to everything, man. All right, that's what you're supposed to be seeking out of. You're not supposed to be seeking nothing else. You're supposed to be seeking out of the book of the Lord. All right, what's the book of the Lord? These scriptures, man. All right, the, so so the Lord didn't leave us a book. He didn't leave us a book to seek out of, man. You so you ultimately trying Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You saying that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. You don't believe that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is gonna give you a a a, a way. Out of the hell hole that he put you into, man. All right. Why? Why would the why? Why would the heavenly Father do that? That's because you're not seeking out the book. You don't know how the heavenly Father operate, man. All right. You just disown this book because you know that your ass is wicked, man. All right. It's Isaiah chapter thirty-four, verse sixteen. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, Yahabashim Shimei and read. No one of these shall fail. So the heavenly Father said, No one of these shall fail. All right. The, the 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 words written in this book, any prophecy that's in this book, it's gonna be fulfilled. And, and mostly, and a lot of these prophecies in this book have been fulfilled, man. All right, and and a lot of the prophecies that are in this book right now are being fulfilled as we speak. That's how you know it's the truth. All right. It says, "None shall want her mate for my mouth; it have commanded, and his spirit it gathered them." There you go. This mouth, the 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 mouth, have commanded. And the spirit has gathered them, man. All right, and it's a spirit that's on this book. All right, that's that's how we are are, are being being gathered. All right, but you got you got to believe though. You got to believe in this in this in this word. You got to believe in in the words that you hear. All right, because if you if you don't believe in it, then it's 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 pointless. All right, you got to believe that these words are are, are true. You got to believe that the heavenly Father left this book for you. You got to believe that. These scriptures were were were, were tailor made for you and your salvation. All right, this Hebrews chapter four verse two. It says, uh, Hebrews chapter four verse two. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Yes, so the gospel been preached to everyone, man. Are right, you you heard the gospel? Just, just like we heard the gospel say, the gospel uh, shall be preached unto the four corners of the earth, and then the end shall come. And that's why the end coming, man. All right, and the last days shall come many scoffers, man. All right, walking after their own lust. Okay, so we in the last days because it's it's, it's a lot of blasphemy that go on, man. And I be hearing it just in my normal day shit, man. I hear, you know, somebody on the radio say something, or somebody, you know, be having a conversation at work, or. You know, some on TV I might see blasphemous, you know. Just you you'll hear somebody talk uh you know, I mean might be watching a brother video or something. Somebody say some slick shit about the scriptures. You know, you hop you you on the internet, you see people comments, you know. So so you 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 can tell that uh people a lot of these people not heard the the word, all right? But it says the word did not profit them because not being mixed with faith, you didn't believe it. You you heard it, but you didn't believe it. All right, and and uh, he that uh, don't believe if, uh, is uh, is damned already. All right, you are already damned. If you ain't got faith in in in, in these words, then you are already damned. All right, and that's and, and that's and that's why you in the position that you in right now. All right, that's why you're gonna be destroyed. All right. Cause, cause you you don't have faith in the, in the words of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right. This uh wisdom of Solomon chapter six verse twenty five. Receive their instruction through my words. So like it. Receive therefore instruction through my words, and it shall do you good. <laughs> Simple and plain, man. See y'all, y'all. See Jake makes shit way harder than it gotta be, man. All right. What's so hard about that? Receive instruction through my words, and it shall do that good, man. 
All right, and all you gotta do is receive the instructions. You'll see good start happening to you. Now, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. Now, when thou serve the Lord, prepare thy soul. Uh, when thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right, but ultimately, the ultimate good for for this light is a light affliction that the Lord is putting us through is not worthy to be, to be compared with the glory that should be revealed in us, man. All right. So ultimately, the heavenly Father gonna do you way more good than. He putting you through, and then really the 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 tribulations that you going through is is really not even uh, nothing, man. All right, honestly, man. All right, that, that that's really good for you. You 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 deserve to go through because the wages of sin are death, man. All right, and really, uh, you going through those different things that the heavenly Father puts you through that that's purifying you and making you better, man. It's making you more wise, man. All right, it's making you more learned. Okay. That's this this you putting the words to the test. That's you putting the word to the test through through different uh situations in life. All right. This Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 19. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. All right. So look, if if you're not Hearkening unto the words of Yahabashim Yahshai, which the prophets are speaking, all right, that the, the man that Yahabashim Yahshai has set up in truth and sincerity, you you not hearkening unto them words, then Yahabashim Yahshai gonna require them words of you, man, all right. Strong's H H. Going to the word require. Darash. Darash. Yes, yeah, says. To be required of blood. Yeah, there it go right there. To be required of blood. So the Heavenly Father going to, uh, hey, he going to, it's, it's going to be consequences pretty much, man. All right. It, it's either take uh, take heed unto this word and it'll do you good or take heed unto this word. Don't take heed unto this word and receive evil. The Heavenly Father, he, he, not, <laughs> he not the author of confusion, man. All right, it's, it's, it's simple and plain, man. All right, it's, it's either take heed or die. All right, the hell you don't understand about that, man. So it, it, it'll just be wise just to take heed, man. All right, so you don't die, okay? Just just simple and plain. And if you don't think you're you, you going to die or you don't think the Heavenly Father going to judge you for it, then try try your luck, man. Try your luck, man. I bet you the Heavenly Father going to kill your ass, man. All right, he said he's going to require it of you, man. All right, he going to require your blood, nigga. All right, this uh John, Saint John chapter fourteen verse ten. Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, He doeth the words. So look, these these words ain't, ain't not our words. This is our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach speak. All right, but like I said, uh, the the body uh, uh, of Yah of Yahweh Shah, the house of David. All right, the holy prophets, the man that Yahweh Shem Yahshai set up, the hopeful elect, okay, they 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 speak in the words of uh, uh, of the heavenly Father. They, they speak in the word which is our Lord Yahweh Shai, which our Lord Yahweh Shai was speaking the words of the Most High Yahweh. Okay, so these not our words. We not saying just we not just breaking down these scriptures just to be breaking them down just to see like well you 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 shouldn't be if you doing that the Lord gonna kill you man. All right. You seek you you breaking down his word just to seem cool, man. Or you breaking down his word to, 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 to seem like you 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 the most wise brother and you know this and that. Man, the heavenly father gonna kill your ass, man. All right. We we speaking this word because this is what is commanded of us to do, man. All right, we trying to uh make atonement uh uh for for our, our sins. This this is our reasonable service, man. All right, pretty much. All right, following the commandments is the whole duty of man, all right. Let me read this one more time. This uh St. John chapter 14, verse 10. Believest thou not that I am the in the Father? All right, so do you not believe that Yahweh Shah is in the Father? Meaning, Yahweh Shah being the word, he 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 is uh the so the word is it is the father. Let's get this. This, this word is your house. All right, let me get this. All right. Uh, I think it's Hebrews. I can't remember exact chapters, Hebrews. Let's see. Yeah, Hebrews 10. 
It's Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O Yahweh. All right, so this book was written of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right. To do thy will, O Yahweh. So this, this is the will, the, the words of this book is the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man. All right. And, and, and the word, which is is this book, the words that's in this book is Yahweh Shai. All right. So Yahweh Shai is the word, which the word is the will of the Heavenly Father. All right. It says, this St. John chapter 14, verse 10, Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. So the words that Yahweh Bashim Yahushah speak unto us is not of himself. All right, Yahweh Shah didn't speak his own words, man. All right, these words that's in this book is not, you know, these prophets' own interpretation, man. All right, it was, it, it's not... It's not nobody just who wrote down something, man. All right. Or it wasn't. These words ain't damn sure ain't no human down here. Especially not Esau. Because that's Jake love to say that. That's, that's the white man book. All right, man. Esau is, a, is not a spiritual man, man. E Esau ain't, ain't not finna damn write no scriptures, man. All Esau know how to do is take something and steal it and put his name on it, man. All right, Esau ain't write no damn scriptures, man. All right, you and, and like I say, a lot of you niggas, all right, who who talk that shit about this being the uh, the white man book. Your ass don't even read you 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 don't even read the the scriptures. So what what the hell you know about what what who book this is? You don't even know what's in the book. All right, that's Jake. That's how stupid Jake is, man. All right, it says, "Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me?" The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the words. So we're not speaking the words of, of, of our of our uh, self, man. All right? We're not speaking. These words come from Yahweh himself, man. All right? This, this is not our own word, man. All right? So ultimately, you don't believe in the Heavenly Father. All right? And the Heavenly Father is going to kill you, man. All right? If, if you don't believe in him, what... What's what's the point of view, man? All right. Here we go right here. I'm going to wrap it up. It's back in Revelation chapter 22, verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, Yahweh shall add unto him the place that are written in this book. So if you saying that this book is not true, that's adding unto the words of this book. All right. That, that, that book. Those words is in that in that book is not true. Where the hell do it say that in this book? All right, you you adding words unto this book, man. All right, or you say uh, the you you say I'm a god of myself, and 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 the spirit tells me what's right. You adding words unto this book. All right, you being the you being a witch. Ultimately, thou should not suffer a witch to live. All right, and you you adding words. Uh, you you not hearing the words of this prophecy of this book, man. All right, the, the, this book don't tell you nothing like that, man. All right, so you're going to get the plagues that's written in this book added unto your ways, man. That's the Heavenly Father requiring blood from you. All right, verse 19, and if any man shall take away from the words of this, of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away his part out of the book of life. Yeah, you're going to receive, you, you're going to be part of the second death, man. The Heavenly Father going to destroy you, man. All right. You 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 taking away words. You you taking away the whole word. Once you once you discredit the scriptures, you gonna took away the whole word of Yahweh by Shimon Shah. So the Heavenly Father gonna take away your part out of the book of life. All right. And out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. And and out of the things that are written in this book, man. All right. So the Heavenly Father, man, look, man. He he man, let Heavenly look, the Heavenly Father really can do what the hell he wanna do, man. All right, he really a lot of you wicked ass women, man, especially these wicked ass women who talk shit, man. You act like the Heavenly Father even need you, man. All right, he, he don't need you to uh, bring back uh, the 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 Judite woman or 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 the uh, Ephraimite woman or the Ishakarite woman, or right? or the other the Levite woman. Yahweh don't need you 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 to bring no woman back, man. All right, the seed come through a man. All right, 
So really, uh, uh, you you women pop a lot of shit, man. But the heaven father, what what the heaven father don't need you, man. He will wipe your ass out of existence, man. All right. And, and a lot of niggas too talk a lot of good cash money shit, man. All right. Because because you you should take because uh, it say all of Israel should be saved pertaining to Romans the eleventh chapter, okay. But you this this should scare you because it tell you in uh, Matthew the tenth chapter, fear not him. Who can kill body, uh, but fear him who can kill soul and spirit, man. All right, so the heavenly father, look, man, the heavenly father can kill your soul and your spirit. He will take your spirit away, man. All right. And that's that's why I be trying to iterate too, man. Like the heavenly father just, yeah, the heavenly father merciful, man. Are right, he great and long and merciful, man? But don't tempt the Lord, bro. Don't tempt the Lord, bro. The Lord not playing that shit, man. The Lord, the Lord will wipe your ass out of existence, man. All right. Lord, I brought you in this bitch. I'll take you out. Completely take you out. All right? That's that's really a saying that come from your howl. All right? <laughs> you know, your parents said that's that's on a low level, man. Heavenly Father, he'll really take your ass out, man. All right? But but ultimately, this is talking about being taken out of uh, uh, the, the, the holy city of Jerusalem that's going to, uh, uh, that, that new city that's going to come from heaven. All right? Your heavenly father uh gonna take your ass out of the book of life. You're not gonna you you're not gonna be delivered, man. You're not gonna uh you 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 gonna have to catch it on the first resurrection, man. All right. You're gonna have to come back through the loins of the elect. All right. So uh with that, you know, I pray that this was edifying. I want to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostle and elders of great millstone, rule well. Peace and salutations to the house of David, Shalom to the elect.